Hello, it is I, Dr. Brian Lorgan 111, and welcome back to Rogue Legacy 2. <laughs> That's actually the name of this game. Uh, let's give Sharon our all our gold to enter the castle. We're a Dragon Lancer. We got a poison spell. And last time we unlocked the other Void Beasts in the Sigian Study. Making me think that we'll actually be able to get to the boss boss. And furthermore, we are a cartographer. And I can see where the boss boss lives by looking at the map. Um, so. Actually, that was showing me where the boss lived in the previous area, which might also be valuable because there'd be a couple chests down there. Hold on, let's take a look at the map. We don't get our own position marker. This is the Stygian study that we're in. I see, I was seeing the boss chamber below. Um, oh, but I can see the boss chamber is just over there to the right. Yeah, that'll be really easy to go to. I go up, upright, up, right, down, down. Yeah, let's go for it. Oh, also, I can use my Dragon Lancer ability to get up here without even having to use a double jump. How cool is that? The correct answer is it's pretty cool. All right, let's practice the fact that yeah, definitely practice using my poison bomb because I've forgotten just how much gravity it has in terms of its aim when using it directly upon the target dummy in the entryway. Oh boy! Ugh. That was not as big of a issue aiming it. Right, and I have my target bastion thing too. Let's uh. Oh, you've got different things, though. And then I have to get six hits to be able to use it again. All right, well. Ugh. Oh, dear. One. Two. Ugh. Maybe I need a little bit of warm-up before I just jump into this area. Because I'm not doing very well here. Okay. I almost rewarmed up my spell, which is, or my talent, whatever it is. My crazy shield. I really want to try it against these guys. Okay, that is actually pretty cool. These guys can float on those platforms, neat. Okay. <laughs> I got partway through a room. It's amazing. And we're still alive. To tell the tale. We even got a chest. It's got money in it. Hooray! And a chicken leg! How great is that? Go, go, go. Okay. Starting to feel my fingers. Remember how to play the game again? Ah, oh, it's a mimic. I saw it coming. Now it's not a mimic. Um, alright. Yeah, and now I go to the right, and there's a long room here. Alright, you're a defense tree. You have multiple types of attack. Sometimes you shoot, and sometimes you do that explodey thing. And it occurs to me that I could take advantage of the fact that I'm a Dragon Lancer and just kind of like sail past these guys. But yeah, it seems pretty reasonable. So there's a chest to the right. How easy is it to get? Seems like I can just dash. Except for the spikes right there. But I still got the chest. I didn't take that much damage. It's not so bad. Okay. But then if I go down, down, I think that should bring me to the boss. Oh boy. Um, Poison bomb. And then... Nice. Ah, up oh, there's chicken legs. That helps. And that was okay-ish. And I could do another poison bomb if I wanted. And guess what? I want to. Aha! And then... Ah! Did they explode at the end? Hmm. And right. If I hold my shield, can I also... Okay. 
cool. I did a good thing. Almost intentionally. And here is the boss room. Cool. And I would definitely get all my health back. Yeah. So, I have a teleporter to get here now. This character could still do other things and possibly get some upgrades. So now that I have the teleporter unlocked, let's go to... I don't know, Kerguelian Plateau? And just see if possibly we can pick up some loot or something interesting and amazing to work with. I think that seems reasonable. Okay, careful. Ah. Uh, I feel like that's classic Brian. Say like, careful and then immediately take damage. I didn't manage to get the second hit off. Okay, Aqua Brace. I see you. And I got you. Hooray. This is the type of thing we might be looking for. Handheld Ballista. Right, we've had that with a Ranger. It's not a super great weapon for me. But we can reroll it. We get a blessing of strength. And we'd lose our flying dragon lance. But honestly, I'm pretty good with the chef's pan. So I think let's do it. Okay, so no more flying. But now we can reflect projectiles with our crazy weapon. We can apply burn. Yeah, I'm pretty good with this one. Okay, I think that actually may be an upgrade for me. Alright, ouch. Oh boy. And do, uh, are zombies immune to burn, or... Oh, come on. Alright, I've got too many enemies in the room at once. Oreo, you need to go. Okay. Uh, number of enemies has been reduced. I totally should have used a poison bomb there somewhere when there were multiple enemies stacked up. And... Now I just want to see... If this is applying burn to guys or not. Like, I'm not sure if applying burn was something that the chef did as opposed to something the frying pan did. Oh boy. Okay. So I know it doesn't apply to you. But I want to check out the rest. Aqua Brace, I'm pretty sure I've applied burn to before. But he was ready to die. So we didn't get the information there. And unfortunately, I did poorly enough in that room. But I believe the correct strategy is probably to... Uh, is this a room that has... I know where I am on the map. It shows me the full map. I walked in right there. Yeah, this is a room that has a secret. I see, but it was just secret journal stuff that we've already read. Alright, I think I should go back to the castle and get some health back. And so we'll take a moment to do that. We'll also break this furniture in case there's a chicken leg, which will help me get my health back without having to walk all the way back. And I forget, is there furniture over here that I might also want to break? Uh, it appears the answer is no. And I remember there was this crack in the wall. But that was just to get around the gate before we had defeated Halfus and Bareth as pirates. Okay. Um, so yeah, let's go back to the Citadel for a little bit. Kill some enemies, get some health back. And also, double check if the frying pan is actually causing guys to burn. Maybe in the Kerguelian Plateau, things don't burn? Oh, I forgot, I can just reflect it. Because of the fact that, um, it's like frozen out there? 
That also only just occurred to me now. As a possibility. Alright, enemies in here uh, are getting one-shot killed, and so I'm not... Oops. Alright, I need to learn the trajectory of my poison bomb, clearly. I'm not getting a reading on whether I'm actually applying burn to anyone. But we are getting our health back, and that was the point of coming back here, so that part is good. Ha! -ha! <laughs> that definitely applied some burn, reflecting the Plinky's fireball. Oh! Should I have seen that coming? Of course I should. Did I? No. Oops, and I didn't give myself enough time to take advantage of the swing. Okay, the poison bomb would work here. Uh all right, it starts low, and gravity takes it down lower. And yeah, just this little dip makes it kind of hard to reflect things over in that direction. All right, that's fine. We're learning the vagaries of various character traits and weapons, and those will help us in the long term and all kinds of scenarios in the future. So this is time well invested to play better next time, and the time after that, and the time after that, etc. All right, chicken leg. Yeah, we're all ready. Back to like half health. So a few more rooms. Uh, I would like to do that. Maximum scar, empathy, something, something. So let's check that out. Let's see, 338 health. I could probably do it already, but I'd love to get one more bit of health back. So let's see if I can pull that off and then go back to that room. Let's see. Um, I don't know where I am on the map if I just look at my map, because we're a cartographer. Yeah, so let's just cycle around this way and go back to that room while I still know where it is. Actually, let's peek up here. Hey! Uh, anything I want? Weird mushrooms. Defeated enemies of Sporeburst. And this one... Yeah, let's actually take it, because this is also going to be good for kind of like stacking enemies or whatever, which is the thing I want to do next. Because there's going to be a bunch of enemies in here. Oh, right, there's this guy at first. Okay, he got set on fire, but that was again by, by, by me reflecting his projectile, not just by the frying pan. So maybe it's the chef's power that actually makes the frying pan do that? Hmm. Oh, and it was just the one enemy. So I'm not sure that the spore burst is going to be as useful as I hoped. Uh, Neuropraxis. Okay. More empathic connection. More, more importantly, we got some ore and ether. Both of which I think I was currently short of. So that was still worth doing. Um, frying pan. Striking to reflect. Reflecting grants you charged. Yeah, so it must have been a chef trait, and not the frying pan trait. That set things on fire. That's fine. Wardrum. Seems to me I've seen something about that. It's not great. That one's definitely not good. I like using my weapon frequently. This is a fun room. It's a room that's my speed. I can handle every enemy in that room. Oh! Boss room. Extra chests. Terrific. Another teleporter. Great. And this looks fun. Oh boy. Alright. I see what's happening. It's not a problem. So I guess I want to go down now, ideally. 
And this one, I don't see the issue. Okay, there's enemies down here. Found the issue. Or an issue, anyway. And then now, sure. Anytime's fine. Staffens, thanks for the uh, chicken leg. Chicken leg of destiny. Interesting. Okay, and so if I collide with that in the wall, it just does that. Cool. And are we at a dead end? Let's see, I was a little bit left of the boss. I'll be able to figure it out in a minute if I need to. Um, let's actually do a look at the map. So, I saw the boss room, right? It's over there. And I cleared out that chest. And now I'm in this big tall room. Got it. So if I go left, there's some more chests. So let's go left and try to get to the more chests. Left and down is a good way to go. Aha! Take that. Actually, this room has a hidden chest, doesn't it? Uh, no, I don't see a crack in the wall. Let's just quickly double check. No, it doesn't. Okay, but left and then down is definitely a way to go. All right, that's Spore Burst. Kind of like going after multiple enemies. So that's pretty cool. Yeah, Spore Burst. But I have to kill somebody with it, ouch. All right, so, boom. Nice. One guy explodes into fireballs that hit all the rest. Ha ah, Take that. I like it. All right, we got some gold chests. Health is in decent shape. Let's see if we can manage to scare up one more chicken leg. Somehow or another. There we go. Yum, 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 yum. Let's see. One more time on that map. Um, let's go right and work our way down. And if nothing else, we'll get to the entrance to the next area for another teleporter. Uh, did I need to go down through this room? I think we can go down through here. Yeah. Uh, wait a minute. No. I did want to go down through that tall room. Alright, carefully. Uh, hmm... I would like to fight a boss at some point, so I think I have to do this and then continue to work my way up. I think it just makes sense. So we will do that. Um, looking at the map once again... There's a fairy chest down and to the left. Okay, yeah, we definitely need to do this. And I've kind of learned the timing of how those things interrelate. So I'm less scared, or it's not even about scared, it's just like about like knowing the timing window or whatever to get in between two of the swinging lantern fire traps or whatever. I feel more comfortable with that room, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Oops, well, that's going to reset your health. <sighs> uh, you know what? Have that. And that's not bad. All right, what's below me? Oops, wrong button. Just wanted to look down. I have to use my keyboard for that because I don't have a button mapped on the controller that I am using. And can I aim poison? I didn't think about that. Hold on just a second. Hold the aim. It is. Okay, I can aim my poison spell, so I can do this. And just aim it directly upwards, for example. 
All right. So that's one of the things with my poison spell. So I might have been... I don't think I was when I was trying it other times. But I might have been aiming it poorly because I forgot that it was an aimful spell. But now I know. And that could come in relevance. Let's see, the boss of the Stygian study, I believe, is an estuary named Enoch. Do I know anything else about him? So I think the upper left is where the fairy chest is, and this is just a normal chest. Might as well take advantage of the doorway while it stands. Chicken leg, very nice. All right, so what type of fairy chest challenge lies in wait for us right here? Uh, don't get hit. Yo, oh, I see. Um, I have a shield that works against... Okay, it does! Okay. Um, it's too bad that I didn't realize it was going to reflect them and just change their trajectories. Uh, that would be good to know in the future. And it also tells me just a little bit more about how the mechanics of this character's special talent to work. Okay, having done that, that was the fairy chest in the bottom left. Is there any other fairy chest in this area? No. So I think I do want to go to another area, in which case we should return to the main menu and continue on to Axis Monthly. I think that sounds good. And the map is even kind of less necessary there. So that's also... Right, and I could go directly to Axis Monthly's throne room. Right, which is just there, and not particularly interesting. Actually, it is, because... I can just go back to the left. Yeah, I think this is good. Because I think there's a little bit of uh, more choices. Alright, I can reflect that back. There we go. Get you from a distance. And there's a doorway up there that could have a choice bargain thingy or whatever inside of it that we might want. So we need to check it out. Defeat all enemies, lose no health. So I can see the chest is going to appear here. I have to defeat all the enemies, and I have to lose no health, so I might want to use my shield thingy again. Yeah, let's do it. Alright. <laughs> I didn't have a plan for defeating them. And it wouldn't have been hard. I got a little bit caught up in the existence of my own shield there. There's a fireplace here. It's kind of in a corner. I don't have a fireball to hurl at it. Uh, I'm trying to pay attention to where the uh, secret fireplace that I read about in an insight might be hiding. But I don't know that I've located it yet. And yeah, I do see that this weapon is not quite as good when it's not applying burn. But that's okay, we're going to make it work. That's what we do. Make things work. Lose no health. Um, this is just going to be a parkour challenge. I, I've done this one successfully before. I can totally do it. Yep. Yep. I've done it before and I'll do it again, just not today. Holding the D-pad for a precise amount of time is a surprisingly difficult challenge, as it turns out. Um, I got some mana over there, so I might as well waste some. Well, waste some. Spend some! Kill you. It's practically free to do so. 
And right, I apply Spore Burst. Ah, come on. Oh boy. Alright, get charged up. Get charged up. Oh, are you guys resonant? Ah. Oh, you're shielded. That's why I'm not making progress here. There's a commander. Hold on. Where's the commander? I see him. He's down there. He's one of the eyeball dudes. Um, okay, so I just need to get around you guys. Uh, let's puzzle this out. Uh, you're gonna get outside of his sphere range, I think? Yeah, I think you already are. Yeah, now I can damage you guys. Alright, so that was not the way I originally intended to do this. When that money came flying to me, I think it's because it, like, fell in the... Ugh, I missed that again. Fell in the, um water below and if money gets destroyed in the water it then like just comes to the player this is also a fireplace kind of nestled in a corner hmm. Hmm. we'll continue to keep our eyes open for something that seems to match that clue for whatever reason i enjoy looking at the fireplaces in this game I enjoy looking for secrets, I suppose is what it is. And a fireplace is the perfect place for a secret. Everyone knows that. Alright, I am managing to lose health rather than gain it. So let's see if we can improve upon that situation somehow. Maybe we'll be gifted some nectar. <laughs> wow! I'll take it. <laughs> That'll help. Oh, okay. I remembered at the last moment that the platform is not high enough to avoid the spikes that would be coming out the moment I stepped off of the pressure plates. So I'm glad I thought of that just in time to make another jump and dodge it. And you shoot resonant fireballs. At least the big ones are. I can't tell if the little ones are at a glance. They give off that visual... Uh, resonant aura effect. It feels like in the uh, area back here, like there could be something hidden behind there too. I don't see any evidence of it though. It would just be a good place to hide things. Oh, I did not see that arrow trap. I was too focused on the soldiers ahead. That's my bad. I think there's just a chest over here. And I would need to... Uh, hold on. Why did that not work? There we go. Okay, I got the fountain. Alright, well, I can do this. Alright. That was a mess. Uh, but we got it. Alright. I... I feel like there's an elegant way to do that. And my fingers have not figured out the appropriate set of motions for such elegance. Perhaps another day. It looks like there's a weird crack in the wall here. I guess the building is somewhat weirdly designed as well. And... I guess this is just one of the lower places. And that's all there is to it. Hey, Bob Fish. You're not leaving a whole lot of room. Yoink. Haha. <laughs> Take that. Spore Burst killed off the enemy. And now here... I used a double jump. Wasn't able to dash back out, but at least I got in without taking damage. That's progress. Alright. Get exploded by a door, please. You can just get hit with the firing pan a few times. It's fine. Oh, I didn't see that. I'm about to do it again. There we go. Yeah, so there's an example of the coin hitting the water and then just flying up to the player. So you still get credit for it uh, if it falls in the ocean. Um, I could simply... Oops. Simply. Spin kick. Why did I not spin kick that? Hmm. I'm really struggling with my spin kicks today. I'm not sure why. Alright. 
There we get a chance. Oh boy. Uh, did I reflect the? I think I might have reflected the arrows with my uh, frying pan, which I didn't know was a thing. I'm okay with it. Uh, I can just dash across here. So many fireplaces in this place, I'm looking at all of them. I'm like, is this a secret? Is this a secret? Ah, oh, darn it. I had a charge. I didn't take advantage of it. Okay, here's a chance to take advantage of it. Okay, one, two, three, get charged. Boom. Okay. I did something. And you know what? You're a big enemy. You deserve some poison. I deserve to get charged, and then hit you again. Nice! With a crit. Was it worth it? Hard to tell. Not for the money. Probably not for the experience, so probably no. Uh, but at least I felt good about myself in terms of applying some of my skills. It's still the case, however. Oh, I jumped at the wrong time. That we're in bad shape for the boss. Because I've managed to lose health rather than gain it in this area. Is there anything inside the pizza place? There's furniture, but I think this is a lower area, and so it's not going to contain anything special for us. And to remind me, up here is the entrance to the Sigian Study? Or the Sun Tower? The Sun Tower. So we would get our butts kicked here, but we could find some pizza in the furniture, which is terrific. And then... Let's see. Stygian study. I did not break all the furniture here. So let's give that a shot. And then we'll get a 40% health bonus uh, by entering the boss room, if I remember correctly. And so we could try that as well. Uh, because I would just like to see what Estuary Enoch is like, even if we're not in super great shape with this character, and this character is not as well decked out as I would like them to be uh, in order to earn a bunch of things. Okay, um, where else could I go? I've been there. Um, I've been there. I haven't been here, actually. No, I have. However... Taking a look at the map, I'm currently at the throne room. There's obviously chests in a couple of nearby rooms, which suggests that I haven't gone that way, which suggests that there might be easy enemies or furniture, which we could use... Oh! Got hit by the bone. ...to take advantage of in order to regain some health. So we'll give that a shot. Ah, uh, so there was something down and right. So we'll do this, and go this way. Uh, hmm. Alright, so just uh, jumping down here right at the beginning is the right way to do this. Got it. I'm glad I reasoned it out. This looks like the perfect room to hide something in the ceiling, but I don't think there's anything hidden in the ceiling in this particular room. Maybe there is sometimes something hidden in the ceiling in that room. Which would be the best way to hide things, in my opinion. Okay, if we take a look at the map here. Special room. Looks like I've been to things around there and around there. That was the entrance. There's furniture at the start of Pishan Dry Lake, so let's break a few pieces of that. But then I think we'll go ahead and take a look at Estuary Enoch's boss room. And discover who or what he is. Regardless. Also, if I take a look at the map, it just shows me the map of this area, and I can't remember if I have been in this room and any furniture that's nearby. Looks like the furniture has been cleared out. Alright, that's what I wanted to know. In that case, let's take this to Stygian Study Special. And discover something about Enoch. Um, if I were to reread 
That just tells me about getting through the void doors. Got it. Uh, this door is not open. Was this just one of the boss, one of the two boss doors, and not the study room? The study room shows up on the map differently, I think. So I am. The boss room is up top. Got it. I should be able to teleport there, right? Why can I not? I'm uncertain, but if I wanted to get there, since I can see, I'm down here. I basically need to go straight up, and then at one point I'll be forced to make a tiny jump to the left. But otherwise, go straight. I have to make a tiny jump to the right. Oh, wait, hold on. No, it's more complicated than that. Let's make sure we get the map correct. So I need to go up two rooms, then left, then up. There's a fairy chest I might want to peek at. Okay, let's just <laughs> do this bit by bit then. We've already been through this room and we've already been through the room just above me. Although I did leave some enemies in here, as it turns out. All right, their projectiles will be more in sync now. No, they won't. Previously, I flew over with the Dragon Lance. Uh, this time, I will fly over with the double jump. That ran out. Oh boy. Right, I just ran through here, I remember now. All right, but I defeated that guy and now I do want to go up, and so I'm just gonna do this. Okay. Uh, two spin kicks will kill you. Okay. I can see the guy who's shooting at me. I can see his aiming projectile. Or trajectory. Something, something. Uh, I've already forgotten. There's a fairy chest room to the right I want to peek at. Lose no health. I have a shield that is perfect for this. I remember what button it is. Eldar Rune. Increases your magic crit damage. Neat. And Red Ether. Even neater. Okay. That was good. I'm glad I peeked in there. Uh, now I need to remember on the map, now that we got that fairy chest, I need to go the right exit at the top of this room next. Oh, I got caught in the poison. Dripping past that dude. Okay. And then from here, uh, I just need to go up, 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 and that brings us to the boss room. Okay, that's my goal. Oh boy. And my thingy's almost recharged, so if necessary, I could use my super shield again. The shape of this room is what? I just don't want to go straight up on the left-hand side. Okay. And you're actually- oh, I was going to say not a bad enemy, except for I caused you to fall on the ledge. Or normally you would not fall. Because I was done. Okay. Uh, I just want to go up. I see the paintings. I see the opportunities to jump past these guys quietly. And I see the opportunity to juggle you for an extra two health. Um, at this point, I just need to go upright to exit this room. Oh, wait. No, oh, I'm so close. Get me to the boss room. Okay, this is the boss room. <laughs> okay, there is the paintings of the various void beasts that we defeated. I was hoping there were going to be like two big chests in here. And I'm disappointed that there are not. But that's okay. We're going to die to the boss, but we're going to learn something about him. Eldar. He's a wizardly scholar, dude. Estuary Enoch. Well, not Eldar. Eldar was the rune I just got. The false scholar. Oh, he's a false scholar. He's not a real scholar. All right. I haven't figured out what's going on here yet. Uh, there are lots of threats. Oh! It's, oh, and then they home in on me. So they, like, cycle around me to, like, freak me out. And then they do the worst. Okay. I do have a projectile blocking shield that I should totally use when that's going to happen. Oh, wait. Oh, that's a good time to use it. 
Okay, that was actually good. So the shield is good for this. I don't have the mana to... Okay, use that. Oh, gosh. This will be good to watch back and try to learn some of his attacks later. Because I'm not picking them all up right now. I'm just trying to dodge a few things and stay alive. Oh, we got to stay alive. Oh, my goodness. So many projectiles. Oh, I should have dashed. Uh, okay, here's these ones that are going to home in on me. But they're void projectiles, and so I can dash through them. That's how I avoid them. Got it. Okay, I did learn one thing there. And that's nice. Actually, it's set him burning, and we've got it poisoned again. All right, I'm dealing some damage. And I reflected that. And there comes one of the super pillars of death. Okay, now I kind of saw what the wind-up on that looks like. Get ready to dash! Oh, I dashed into him, though. But at least I would have avoided the projectiles. Sir Devon has been slain by Estuary Enoch. However, rank three, Dragon Lancer up. Don't forget the block. Pull down a short, etc., etc. We did kill a bunch of guys and get a bunch of gold and ore, and even some red ether thanks to that fairy chest that I was clever enough to use properly. And we have enough time to choose the next heir, the next episode. Very basic Valkyrie. A ranger who can't see damage dealt. A gunslinger with bonuses and drawbacks. I don't know if the gunslinger would be a good boss beater. All spells and talents have cooldown. That's not awful on this character. Body buffet is good. So I think let's choose this character again. Gunslinger generally agrees with me. I believe... Uh, right. I believe we got a new rune, and I gave myself some rune weight last time. So that would be magic crit. Uh, that's not going to be particularly useful for this character. Lucky roller. Skill crits have a bonus chance. Oh, and skill crits. I'm going to get lots of skill crits. Every last ten bullets is a skill crit. Um, so they could become super crits. That could be worth... Oh, wait. I don't own that rune. Why? Wait a minute. No, I do own that room, and I can just equip it. Why can I not do this? It costs 30 rune weight, and I don't have enough rune weight. Um, I want that. And the Eldar rune was what? Magic crit. And that one's what? Magic crit. Magic crit damage. Magic crit chance. Got it. I want to use the Lucky Roller rune. So I need more rune weight. And so that is my first priority to spend money on, for better or for worse. Max rune weight capacity is like here. And that's plus 10, so I'm pretty sure that means I now have enough money to... I've already purchased this, so I just want to equip it. Great. So now it's equipped, all right. And then I don't have any blueprints I'm currently in the mood to buy. And so, is there anything particularly expensive? We could unlock a new class, too. But I've got good stuff to work with the uh, gunslinger right now. It would be nice to be able to take on the boss at full health. Even after being worn down? Yeah, kind of like end runs versus the boss after I'm warmed up. I like the idea of spending... Bringing that to 80%. So I'll get 80% of my resources back when entering the boss room. Alright, I think that'll put us in good shape. Okay, let's check this out. Uh, none of those actually turned into the uh, full skull super crit. 
I mean, I guess I don't know what the chances are. There we go. Okay, I saw a 40 among the 30s. So, occasionally we get a super crit. Damage overall is not super big, though. And I forget... Those don't do anything with skill crits. And that's not a whole lot of damage, uh, but it's better than nothing. Alright. And, right, the cooldown applies to using this. And so that is a minor detriment in terms of this character's chronic fatigue syndrome. Um, but that's fine, and the flame barrier I would hardly be using anyway, and so the fact that it has a cooldown is not going to be an issue. Alright, so this will be, I think, a pretty good character for next time. And remind me, over in... <laughs> Two things. One, Gunslinger is more intelligence. Intelligence is also good, because I think that's the thing that scales up how much your food heals you. And a simple start is now at uh, plus nine. And so I guess we really need like a new class to do this. And this one's up to plus two. We did it kind of unlock it twice. And throwing a green hooded figure approaches the nearby wall before. Oh, green hooded figure. Is that what rangers just look like? Can I see what, like, the default look of a class is? Um, is there a way to see what the various classes look like? Possibly in the description over here. So if I hover on, it says unlocks rangers, but they're already unlocked. And I don't think I can see just like a picture of what a ranger looks like. But a green hooded figure makes me think of a ranger. Um... Right. And this guy already has A plus rank in the skill tree thing. Okay, so we'll just be able to jump into some fighting next time. So look forward to it. I hope, as always, that you guys are having a great day. And I will see you again soon for more Rogue Legacy 2. For now, bye-bye.